Hello everyone, I'm Ishan and welcome to the Race Monkey. What we have over here is the XUV400, Mahindra's first all-electric SUV that is about to take the market by a storm. Now, by the looks of it, it does look that it's based on the XUV300, which has been quite a popular SUV in the Indian market. Now, there has been quite a lot of changes, both mechanically and electronically, to make this EV a great one. So, we are here at Mahindra's SUV proving track outside Chennai to test this electric car to its limits. So, without further ado, let's take you around the car, show you what's on the outside and on the inside and then we'll take you out on a drive through the different tracks at Mahindra's facility. Let's go. Now, dimension-wise, there have been quite a few changes, but we'll start off with the width. The car remains the same. It is at 1821 mm, which is quite wide and it's the widest in the segment right now. The length has been transformed a little bit. This is running at 4200 mm of length, which is very close to Hyundai's Creta. Now, this has been done to accommodate that battery on the inside and some cooling systems. Also, aesthetically, this looks a little longer with a longer overhang at the back. Now, the side profile looks more or less the same as the XUV300, but when you come at the back, there are these beautiful bulges that come out. This looks like an extension to what was there at the XUV300. This has gotten that Botox treatment that has given a bit more definition to the rear end. Now, you have this Twin Peaks logo at the back, which is in copper. The entire roof is in copper. There are these little copper details with a lot of X and cuts. Again, all copper. There is copper in the Twin Peaks logo that is there in the wheel caps. There is a long copper line over here in the side profile of the car and there is a lot of copper in the front copper lines in the bumper copper line in the lower end there are these copper x's which have these aero style designs and a massive copper twin peaks logo in the front as well and you won't be mistaken for anything else when you see this in flesh when you see that there is so much of copper going on around this exterior. But otherwise, the exterior of the XUV400 does look quite handsome. But it's also a little controversial considering it's all copper. Here in the front cabin of the XUV400, things look quite similar and darkened out. So, we have seen the XUV300 with the black and beige combination. Here, we have it in all black theme plus these chrome inserts. Now, there is chrome almost everywhere, which does look a little dazzling, but it's not to everyone's taste. Now, we have a changed steering wheel with perforated sides. There is a Twin Peaks logo in the center, which is also in copper. We have blue stitching that sort of accents out. The seats are quite comfortable. These are black leather seats with blue stitching again. We have the center console, which is exactly the same as the XUV300. The gear lever looks like it has been lifted off a BMW EV. It looks luxurious and not out of place in this car. The touchscreen infotainment system remains the same. It just adds on some of the EV features. We have twin physical instrument dials with blue needles. And there is also a positioning setting for your steering. Now, this interior looks somewhat what we've already seen. There's nothing too fresh that you might experience, but still it is one of the most ergonomic cabins because each and everything falls into the axis of the driver. 
there is a good amount of buttons for each and every setting that you want. You have a fast charging USB, you have your USB for Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, you have your temperature settings over here, your infotainment settings over here, your cup holders are placed over here. There is a good enough space for your wallet. There is a massive cubby hole where you can keep all your trash. A sizable glove box as well, which is cool. There is a place to keep a little amount of knickknacks. There is a day and night mirror over here. And your sunglass holder. And what Indians love, a massive standard sunroof. So, the interior spec looks pretty much okay. Now here in the back seat of the XUV400, seat belts first because it's always to be safe. The space at the back is quite good. I'm five feet eight inches tall. The front seat has been adjusted to my driving position and I've got good amount of knee room, I have good amount of headroom, but anyone who's above the height of six feet 10, six feet two might feel a little cumbersome. But otherwise the seat cushioning is good. There is a good amount of cushioning on the armrest as well. Although there is this cutout style cup holder over here, which does hurt your knee a little bit. But otherwise, there is good amount of shoulder room, good cushioning for the rear and for your lower back. There are three headrests on offer and there is good amount of visibility that is coming in from the side windows as well. The back seat experience feels incredibly nice. Minus the fact there are no AC vents for the rear passengers, which is quite a miss for Mahindra. So we are on MSPT's highway circuit, which basically replicates how the best quality highways in India would be like. Because of the lower center of gravity that the XUV400 enjoys, the already incredible chassis has been upgraded by this entire dynamic setup. Now we're going on a concrete surface which replicates something like the Yamuna Expressway. And although we are running on very low resistance tires which are very good for long range driving, it doesn't have that sort of noise that filters through inside the cabin. The sound insulation as well has been done in a very good way. Although we are in a very quiet environment, we barely have any traffic around except for an XUV400 in the front and an XUV400 at the back that we are testing. It still feels very, very quiet. Now, let's take it to about 100 kilometers an hour. And you still cannot hear this okay, concrete Martin. surface filtering inside the interior, which is quite remarkable. We're hitting this corner at about 70 kilometers an hour. <laughs> Although I'm making small corrections to the steering, but it's just to increase that surface area of the front tires and it to have the maximum contact. Now, although we were driving on the fast fun mode up till now, we have moved to the fearless mode, which is the highest power mode in the XUV400. We're doing about 100 to 120 kilometers an hour. We have a jump over here. Really, really good. Now, taking this corner at about 80, didn't feel as problematic as we would have thought. Pretty brilliant. Let's say the torque input in the fuelless mode is at its peak which would make you have a little bit of a physical modulation that you need to do to the accelerator pedal. Just 
just look at that. There is quite a lot of tox geo that's happening. We're currently doing about 120 kilometers an hour over the flyover. And the XUV400 feels pretty planted, 140 kilometers an hour. Pretty solid in terms of its handling and riding characteristics. Now, this is a hot corner. Lift off, dip accelerate. <laughs> you can have proper fun in this car. And it's just gotten better because the center of gravity is so well calibrated. See, I'm single-handedly cornering this car at about 90 kmph and it just goes. Now let's see what top speed we can achieve on this concrete surface. 140, 150, 160, We're running at 160 kilometers an hour and I can single-handedly drive this car. It's so beautifully engineered. Wow. And even at this speed with low resistance tires on this concrete surface, I'm not hearing too much of noise filtering inside the cabin, which is such a boon. The suspension doesn't feel like it's gonna roll about and cause you any harm or the car is going to roll too much. Just look at that fluidity in the steering input. Such a brilliantly engineered package this car is. I mean, if Mahindra is able to price it well, this is going to be one of the most fun cars to drive that won't cost you a lot to run every day. Absolutely brilliant. Just can't stop driving through this track. <laughs> Jump! So we are now testing out the handling track which has been newly built in the MSPT. Now, there is a good amount of corner over here. Although we are running on low resistance tires, we see there is a good uh, you know, line that this carries. So we take the outer apex, we take the inner apex, Although it has low resistance tires, it does the job really well. Just look at the way the body roll is taking care of. It's pretty damn brilliant. Although the friction coefficient of the surface is on a lower side, which is actually lower than the average of the normal Indian roads. But still, it does have quite a lot of character when you're taking those corners hard. Now, Mahindra is using Valio Siemens' battery management system as we see here. And this is the motor and BMS combination right under the hood. Now, this motor produces 150 PS of max power and 310 Newton meters of torque, which is class leading as of now. Now, this entire packaging of the battery and the motors is done in a very neat way. And for a person who is an engineering freak like I am, it will be very easy to understand and keep this thing in a very intact position. Now, this entire package helps the XUV400 do a 0 to 100 time of 8.3 seconds, more of which you'll see ahead in this video. Now, this battery is a 39.4 kilowatt an hour battery, which is a tad bit lesser than what you get 
in the Nexon EV Max. But then Mahindra is claiming a range of 450 kilometers plus, which is quite substantial. We'll have to see it for ourselves when you take this car out on a long drive and really figure if Mahindra's claims for that range is true enough. Now, this XUV 4W is running on Bridgestone's 205-65 R16 tyres. Now, these tyres have been specifically designed for use on EVs. It has lower rolling resistance and they do help get this car achieve the range that they want. But on the flip side, because of the lower rolling resistance, as you'll see when we go through this track, there is a bit of a compromise when it comes to the overall handling characteristic. Now you get disc brakes in the front as well as at the back. Although there is only ABS and EBD on offer right now, there is no ESP or traction control. But Mahindra says as and when the update comes, they will install the hardware to add the ESP and the traction control system as well. No. So we are on the straight track here at the MSPT and we're about to see with our tracking equipment which is based on the GPS which says GPS single is okay if Mahindra's claim of 0 to 108.3 seconds actually works this is me who is about 70 kilos Aryan is 100 kilos which is 170 kilos on board plus 20 kilos of our back we will check the 0 to 100 timing with this weight. I'm sure it's going to be about a second, second and a half slower than what Mahindra claims. Air conditioning has been switched off. We are on fearless mode, which is the highest power board in the XUV 4W. Hard brakes, hard foot on the accelerator. about 150 kilometers an hour and uh, slowly braking, switching on the air conditioning as well. Uh, we have achieved 0 to 100 in 8.9 seconds. So what do you think about the Mahindra XUV 400? We think that this is quite an interesting, youthful and quirky looking electric SUV. This will attract a lot of young buyers based on these chrome accents and the different shebang colors that Mahindra is offering packaged with this car. Now, this has a lot of faces. It is quite an interesting car, an enthusiastic car to drive. But at the same time, there has been some compromises made thanks to those low resistance tires. But if you get those tires sorted and if you are an enthusiastic driver, this 150 PS motor is quite an interesting bit inside this car. Now Mahindra is betting big to capture the EV SUV market at this price bracket and we are speculating anywhere between 15 to 18 lakh rupees ex showroom price for this one. If Mahindra hits it at the right spot, this is the winner in its hand and it will sell within a lot of young buyers. I hope you like the video. Please share it with your friends. Do subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow our Instagram handle to know more about the XUV 4 We will also be posting the full text review on our website, theracemonkey.com. Please go and read it for yourself if you want any extra information that we could not include in this review. Thank you so much for watching. Please wear your seat belts even if you're at the back seat and do wear your helmets when you're riding your two-wheelers. Goodbye. See you soon.